Hey class, I hope everyone is doing great and staying safe during this crazy, crazy time. I pray that everyone stays healthy and okay. Um, this week I read Cultural Studies to Paradigm by Stuart Hall. For those who don't know, Stuart Hall was born in Jamaica and he received a lot of backlash and criticism because of his skin color. He was a lot darker than most of um, the children and the people that he grew up around. Um, and I kind of compared this to and why Sargasso Sea Antoinette was discriminated against also by the white Jamaican ladies and by the black servants because she was Creole. So I just thought it was crazy that connection between Stuart Hall and Antoinette. Um, so the in the summary of this essay, Stuart Hall compares the two paradigms that cultural studies have grown into. There's cultures and there's structuralists. Culturalist believes culture is centered from experience, while structuralists view culture sort of as an ideology. Um, and um, so the structuralists see culture as frameworks and compartments of thoughts and language through which different societies define their conditions of existence, in particular the world along with humans. Um, the quote that I pulled from his view on structuralist is that it emphasizes that aspect of culture, which refers to social practices. So culturists, culturalists form the ideas that culture is made from societies that share common experiences and together they reflect on those common experiences. So the quote that I pulled from his idea of culturalist is, the first relates culture. So this was the first um, set of paradigm that he talked about that he discussed. The first relates culture to the sum of available descriptions through which societies make sense of and reflect their common experiences. As I just said. Um, so throughout his work, Hall is answering the question, what is culture? Where does culture derive from? In both structuralist and culturalist societies, they believe that it is connected through social relations such as sex, gender, race, class, community, family. All of these things that someone would have in common creates culture because it's something that you could bond on. Um, these communities all have common meanings. So the um, quote that I pulled for his idea of um, where structuralists and culturalists kind of meet in the middle is, its complexity is constituted by the fluidity with which practices move into and out of one another. But this complexity is reducible conceptually to the simplicity of praxis human activity. As such in which the same contradictions constantly appear homogeneously reflected in each. So the key word that I think the whole class should take away from this essay is culture. This essay is based upon cultural studies, which we are about to dive into in um, our How to Interpret book. Cultural studies is basically learning where culture derives from. So, I believe that culture is the most important word in this reading. Um, the word culture appears in almost every page. The reading is centered around two different theories and along with the theorist who came up with these theories, beliefs and views on culture as a whole. The, um, the quote that I pulled from this is the analysis of culture is then Bless me. Um, the analysis of culture is then the attempt to discover the nature of organization, which is complex of these relationships. So I connected two different ideas back to our class and what we are currently reading and what we are currently learning. Um, as I just stated previously, we are diving into cultural studies and a lot of cultural studies is very heavily influenced by Marxism, which we learned in chapter eight of how to interpret literature. 
And as of now, we study culture as different subcultures such as youth culture and immigrant culture, just like how in our class we had the discussion about some of us having immigrant parents and, you know, wondering where's like the fine line between taking your culture from there to here and how moving from our native country to out here kind of dilutes our culture in a sense. So I think it's crazy how back then they study cultural studies in a psychological aspect, but now we're looking at it more so in our personal experiences and how it affected us coming into the United States as immigrants and learning the American culture and finding the fine line and the in-between between both. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope that you all stay safe.